who that nation what it do today i'm coming at you with another reaction and today i'm going to be reacting to howard stern slams oprah for having dinner parties during covid getting very confusing to me that's what he said i guess apparently um i don't know man you know what i'm saying if you still go grocery shopping if you still eat takeout if you still are doing normal things then you're at risk of getting covid bro you know what i'm saying like so if he's still doing any of those things where he has human contact he's just as at risk as if you're having a party you know what i'm saying like so howard stern cut it out but um let's read the article it says howard stern is starting the new year off by adding oprah winfrey to his list of COVID violators over vacation i tried to decompress stern said on his series xm radio show i was watching oprah I follow her on Instagram. I'm really amazed by Oprah. I really am. On her Instagram, she's she's like to take um, you into her house where every night of Christmas is a big party, like a celebration, and she's f flying in a different chef. Well, okay, Oprah got money to fly in different chefs. Maybe you don't, Stern. Stern continued that Oprah having people over during a pandemic makes little sense to him. It's getting very confusing to me, Stern said. I see what's going on with COVID. Everyone's got it. Everyone's sick. People have a 104 fever. I don't want to have a 104 fever. I don't want to get sick, so I'm hiding. But everyone else is out running around. I see Oprah is having dinner parties. So basically, he's one of them ones that feel like, oh, everybody's supposed to stay in the house. I'm sorry, Howard Stern. Everybody can't just have food delivered to them, Howard Stern. I'm sorry, Howard Stern. Everybody can't just live this luxurious life where you never have to leave the house. Apologize about that, Howard Stern. No, I don't apologize. I'm just being funny, bro. I'm just saying, though, like, come on, be realistic, bro. But if you've been getting money as long as he's been getting money, you wouldn't have the foggiest idea what it's like to be a regular person, bro. Stern was bothered with the number of people Oprah has over. It also looks like a Gail King and about 20 young ladies from Africa who are orphans or, or something, he said. But I'm watching Oprah, Oprah, and there was always these young girls, about 17 or 18 young women, and they're invited to Oprah's uh, Plateau Estate, where he's hating. Oprah marches out a different chef every night. It sounds like a nightmare to be invited to Oprah's house, Stern co-host Robin Quivers added. Is that the black girl? Yeah, we knew you we knew you was on we knew you played for the other team. <laughs> In addition to having people over during the pandemic, Stern bashed Winfrey for the food she serves at her dinner parties. What? So you went over her house and ate and you still talking shit? Her dinner parties. They're cheddar cheese biscuits that are used on as sandwich bread instead of bread <laughs> stern said cheddar cheese biscuits with like a piece of chicken in the middle <laughs> i'm like what happened to the weight watchers thing is that just over with i mean oprah oprah is huge listen above okay oh okay let me hear let me let, let's listen to the audio bro Howard Stern is starting the new year off by adding Oprah Winfrey to his list of COVID violators. Over vacation. I, I thought that was going to play me the thing. Okay, anyways, bro. So, you know, it's a lot going on in the world right now. And um, I don't know if y'all are paying attention, but, um, you know, if you, if you are any other race than black, hey, don't be offended by what I'm about to say. But if you notice, there's a lot of people openly coming out and just saying a lot of racist things coming out right now, specifically towards black people and Hispanics. And to me, that's a sign that people are f fearful of the potential of what is to come. Because I look around, I see so many Hispanics and blacks doing so many amazing things right now. And they're growing um, and becoming very powerful you know what I'm saying? Like, we're, we're starting to be able to do whatever we want, whenever we want. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I think that's one of them things where people are feeling fearful. Man, let Oprah do her. If they want to go catch COVID together, then let them go catch COVID, bro. You, if you want to spend your time isolated, then be isolated. But just know, bro, you being isolated and having that mindset, you'll probably mess around and catch COVID, bro. But here, 
let's go over here to YouTube and watch this video. This is basically what he's complaining about, bro. And basically, I think they was welcoming a baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, be quiet, bro. And he mad because they humming Lion King. Look at Stedman. That's funny, bro. You don't never see Stedman doing nothing. <laughs> Look, bro, how it's starting, bro. You over hating on her for welcoming a baby to her house, bro? Like, stop it, how it's starting, bro. Stop it, bro. Stop that. Stop that, Howard Stern, bro. Please, bro. Okay, this is the cook that he's talking about. She flew out. And Gail King was there. So he mentioned her. You know how much she loves Monkey Ranch? I've heard. So I try to do my own version of Monkey Ranch. So it's pretty traditional, except for the caramel glaze. I put uh, pecan pudding in. Oh my gosh, she loves caramel. So what is going to happen in here when Gail comes and gets this? <laughs> what is going to happen when Gail comes? Okay, good. Thank you. I don't even know what to tell you. I have monkey bread stories. Like... Oh, <laughs> <great>. <laughs> look, look at how Gail walked up in there. This is a thing of beauty. This is a thing of beauty. I love, love, love monkey bread. Thank so you. So this is what he mad about because they having a pajama party and having that. good dinner, good monkey bread, good fresh, yeah. fresh monkey bread. She mad. He mad. Yeah, well, I just stood up on you with the very first piece of monkey bread. <laughs> Get the piece of I ain't gonna cap that monkey bread look fire, bro. Pretty amazing. Hey, bro. Howard Stern, stop the cap, bro. Stop the cap, bro. Y'all want to see me react to anything else? Y'all let me know. Make sure y'all comment. Let me know what y'all think about this man hating on her having her Christmas party, bro. I understand that it's a pandemic. I understand that we need to be cautious and all these things. But you know, I believe they're probably vaccinated and have boosted. I mean, what else are we supposed to do, bro? Y'all let me know. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.